Hi, my name is Hannah and today I wanted to share with you my dream kitchen and this is my second kitchen that I have completely designed on my own. My first kitchen was in 2009 in a home that my husband and I renovated and this one was um, designed in 2019. Uh, this home is a custom built that we built, uh, well we had a builder build it, but um, I again took uh, the reins and decided to uh, go through Home Depot for a second time and uh, got some great deals for my kitchen. So I wanted to share with you a little bit about the Home Depot process. Uh, I actually just went online and it's a, it's a little bit difficult to to get some information regarding cabinetry, but um, I, I had done this before, so I knew what I was up against. Um, one thing is when you go into, if you're interested in this, um, getting the right person involved in the process at Home Depot will greatly help you and save you a lot of time. So hopefully they have a lot of background knowledge. Um, I was well aware of the process because of my first kitchen in 2000, nine like i had mentioned oh wow that's 10 years okay <laughs> um but anyways so this is you know this is what we were building like pun intended building up to we wanted to have a custom built home so this kitchen is i will show you in just a moment but this kitchen runs about uh 14 feet by i don't even know like six feet maybe and then there is an island here um that is pretty big so I will show you that in just a moment. The kitchen behind me that you can see and, and um, as I share with you why I chose this layout and such, uh, this kitchen cabinetry um, and countertops cost less than $14,000. And if I would have done this through my builder and their recommendations, which they absolutely did recommend some people, but it just, it didn't work out. And I'll explain why in a little bit, but I wanted to save as much money in my kitchen and I wanted to know where my money was going because you, as you might know, you can go really big. This kitchen could have easily cost uh, $26,000 and, and it didn't have to. And so we put that money somewhere else. Uh, which is fantastic. So I took the time, I did my homework, and even going back through my emails right before I um, started this video, we got 30% um, off of our kitchen through a sale. And the cabinets that you can see behind me, those are the Leonberg, I believe I'm saying that right, through Home Depot. This is American Woodmark. These are maple cabinets. They are a soft close and we got 30% off of the paint. Um, and that saved us a lot of money so we could, now I have to move the camera here. So we were able to put in five inch crown molding at the top and that hood, right, that the hood cabinetry, uh, which can be quite expensive, uh, we ended up um, going with. So that was really nice. Um, not only that, but we were able to save, and as you can see, we have a pretty large uh, oven and gas range behind us. That is a Thor, and uh, we love it. We absolutely love it. It is the best convection oven. <laughs> um, so that's what I wanted to mention about the, I guess, the cost right away. And now I will take you on a little tour of the kitchen, why we chose this layout, and uh, and as it has really worked out well as I'm filming this. Uh, we have we have lived in this house for just about three years now and it's been fantastic. So um, here we go. All right, so here is my kitchen at a glance. We have a four by seven island. It seats four. We could have fit more, but we wanted it to be spacious for people to sit at. Uh, there is plenty of space in between there and we could have actually put more um, cabinets in there, but we did not. Um, anyways, this is what I wanted to mention right away when I was thinking about this video. If you want to save some money, for example, we have three of these legs here and this is cognac, 
Um, this is a standard uh, three by three, although I think they might call it four by four, but this is about three inches. I wanted to go with something a little more detailed here, and that was, um, I was able to sit down with the person at Home Depot and talk about the cost of these three posts here. The ones that you see that I went with are 200, or were at the time $250 a piece. And the ones that I am, uh, first chose was uh, $600. So again, this is one of those reasons why I decided to go with um, the, the details of, of my own kitchen and planning it out myself. Uh, the island is a centerpiece in our home. This is where we spend most of the time, and we love it. I, My husband let me completely uh, do all of this on my own. Um, <laughs> some husbands like to have their say or their spouse or significant other, but mine totally let me go with this. Um, this is not your typical standard length. There's about four feet here, which is really nice when both of us are in the kitchen cooking or baking and yes there are times when there are too many cooks in this kitchen um, but it is what it is so um, what I wanted for this kitchen foremost was a pantry and if you've seen a few of my other videos um, this pantry right here is I think it measures about um, five by six this stores all of our food and a lot of our appliances so um, which is nice to have on that door. That's great. That was my husband's idea and I totally went for it. Um, so as you can see, um, I wanted the symmetrical look, uh, right here, as you can see. Yes, these are different. That's fine. Um, we have upper cabinet and lower cabinet lighting on dimmers. We also have the pendant lights, as you can see and then we have these other lights. Every single light in our home is on a dimmer switch that we can actually put on a dimmer. Um, so, uh, just to show you a little bit about these cabinets, um, these are, again, from Home Depot, like I mentioned, they are the soft close. Uh, we have some undermount um, cabinetry here. This is in the silk color. Um, this was installed by our builder and up here we have the crown molding all the way up, which is fantastic. We really liked that. These, all of the, the hardware is um, from Wayfair. I found these, I really liked them. My husband was a little curious about them at first, but we really, really like them. Um, if I were to design a kitchen again, I probably wouldn't go with them just because I like something different every time. But. Um, I get asked about this a lot when people um, in our area are not familiar with uh, one of these. So this is really, uh, to install something like this, this is a pot filler. It is rather inexpensive uh, for the material. Um, however, it has, this, this actually was pretty expensive. Uh, at the time, this was about $650. Uh, there are two valves, I believe they're called, um, which the plumber had mentioned. So you have to turn on two knobs and the water comes out pretty quickly. Um, and it's cold water. In our state, it has to be per code. So anyways, we have a really big kitchen range. We bought this at Home Depot at the time. It was the very first Thor that was delivered to their store and they were quite uh, uncomfortable with the size and having it in their store so as soon as it was delivered they had called uh, our builder um, and said you need to come pick this massive thing up so um, this is a dual uh, oven range this is huge um, the burners on it are, are very big and it's pretty much like a professional grade it the uh, both of these ovens have a convection fan, which is amazing. Um, inside, um, it is quite nice and it's blue in color. Uh, we use this all the time. The little one, we do not. I use that for probably bread. I wish a muffin tin would fit in there, um, 
but it doesn't, or at least the ones that I have. So um, that's a little bit unfortunate, but it doesn't take too long to uh, heat up. Anyways, and no, this right here does not come with this. I got this at Anth Anthropology. Um, it's just a good old fashioned timer. That's it. So I like the look of it. Um, and other than that, how I planned this out is I wanted the function to be great. I wanted to be able to do dishes, have a dishwasher here, have everything right uh, around us so it was easy to, um, dog barking, sorry, um, to, to deal with in the kitchen. So here's my, my tip. You can plan this out. I'll show you online how this looked and I was actually looking through emails. I have a good 50 emails in correspondence with the, the lady from Home Depot that I worked with. But anyways, um, and yes, I did change my mind about a lot of things. And for one, here's an example. Um, this is exposed right here. This is meant for a, a pull out uh, microwave. I thought I, at first I did not want that. And then I changed my mind and I regretted that uh, because those microwaves are, well, at, at, at the time, they were about a thousand dollars and we had one that we had grabbed because we needed for our rental and we keep it right in the pantry and that is what I wanted to begin with. So we put a couple baskets in there. What's really nice about it is that there is an outlet in there and we have a lot of our electronics in there. We we hook up everything. We charge our phones, the iPad, you know, everything. So um, this is the sink area. And I have um, the, the trash here. Uh, we have two trash bins uh, for recyclables. That is really nice. And then we have the dishwasher on the other side here. This dishwasher actually got on sale. Um, it's a Bosch. And I heard actually from a coworker that those are amazing. And I will agree, those clean really well, but I've heard they don't dry as dry as well. And I ran into that problem as well. So what I wanted for our kitchen here was a lot of pull out drawers. So as you can see right across from the, uh, the dishwasher, there are a lot of these drawers. This, this is massive. This holds a ton. This holds all of our plates and bowls right here. So when I'm unloading the dishwasher over here, I just plop stuff in right here. And this is where most of our stuff goes. These are our uh, forks and knives and whatnot. And everything in the kitchen, oh, glasses are up here. Okay, so it's very, very quick and easy. And um, it doesn't take long to unload the dishwasher. So the, oh, I forgot to turn on the, I, oh, that reminds me, this fan, I purchased on my own. I did a ton of research. It was really overwhelming. Um, it goes out, it, it blows outside of the house. It is a little bit noisy. I forget all of the lingo and language associated with it, but um, it costs $250. I got it on Amazon. I could have got it through another company, but it was on Amazon, so you know. Um, the the one that would have originally come with this style hood was over a thousand dollars. I believe it was fifteen hundred dollars. So we decided for a little bit of an, I don't even know how loud those fans are, but this is quite loud. My husband does not prefer it. That's on, that's on level one. And it really does work. Um, so, but it saved, it saved a ton of money. So uh, I, I love it and I use it often. So we spend a lot of time in this area of our home. And even though our living room, if, uh, if you were to look at like our kitchen area, our living room is not as big. Uh, it's about 13 by 17. It's open concept, but this is where we spend most of our time. And if you ever decide to build your own home, 
go with the areas um, that you're going to be in the most. Um, so uh, we have a few tweaks uh, here and there for maybe a next build. Actually, that is in the process as I am recording this. It is June 2022, and this might be the last video that I shoot in um, our home. This was our dream home, and there's more to come on that. But I just wanted to share with you, uh, for for those of you, if this, you know, if you're thinking about a kitchen, how much kitchens cost. In 2019, you were looking at less than $14,000. The appliances are not included in that price. The granite is, I should have mentioned this a long time ago and I apologize. Um, this granite we picked out ourselves, I definitely recommend. I'm a granite gal. I, I don't think I will ever get anything else besides granite. Um, this is called Colonial White. Yes, you can get it at Home Depot. I have tried other stores, other uh, not big box stores, and I asked for Colonial White to see samples, and they didn't have it listed as Colonial White. So there's another name for this, but it's really nice. It's, uh, it has a lot of specs in it. Um, there is, uh, I call it the birthmark. This is pretty cool. Uh, so it really does uh, light up the space. We love it. And this granite, I was shocked as to how much we paid for it. So as you can see, uh, we got one, two, three, four cuts, and then a backsplash. There's a reason I don't have a black backsplash, and I'll tell you in a minute. If you made it this far, thanks. Um, this granite cost less than four thousand dollars and we were shocked because in 2009 our kitchen was smaller we had less granite i was going i was trying to go on the the cheaper side it was a really nice granite i forget the name of it i will insert a picture of our old kitchen here um but we paid the same amount the same amount and i this is the this is the type i wanted to go with it didn't matter the cost and it just happened to be less expensive. So, um, where was I going with that? I forget what I was going to say. So let me just pan around and show you here. So here's the kitchen. We have an undermount sink. I went with a cognac color. This is called cognac uh, from Home Depot. It's the same cabinetry, it's just stained. Uh, we really like it, and we, uh, we really like the two-tone kitchen. Actually, our first kitchen was two-tone. So, uh, so anyway, um, what was I gonna mention? I, for I forget. The kitchen here that you can see is less than fourteen thousand dollars. It did. It was sometimes painful talking to people at Home Depot, getting things situated, uh, picking out granite. I definitely recommend. If some people don't care, uh, my parents just um, did a whole new. Uh, bathroom and they did not pick out their granite and I thought wow that's really bold but that's fine uh, we had to go to a different state it was about a two and a half hour drive I know that doesn't sound like a lot but I'm a I'm a country gal so that's a, going through a couple cities that's a that's a lot for me but going into the the granite store I'll, I will call it was amazing uh, it was it's so beautiful to see all of the rock that they have displayed From all over the world. It's simply amazing I don't remember where this came from if I were to quickly guess I would say India I could be completely wrong, but um, But we decided uh, we had to pick out three slabs and I'm so glad that we did because there were some slabs 
that it, it's, it's all different. It, this is mother nature at her best. And so I really, really liked this slab. And of course this is, uh, this measures four by seven. So I was really picky about this piece here. And this is, this is really good. I'm very, very happy with, with our granite. Um, I know now um, there are people that are going with uh, the new fad that is that, um, that leathered look, that leathered granite. We'll see what happens if I ever decide to do that. But this is honestly a dream kitchen. I'm so glad and I feel very blessed to have been able to cook and prepare meals and spend a lot of family time in this space. And now on to our new journey. So stay tuned for more. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Be well.